And we were in the low 50s after midnight last night. <laughs> now we're down in the 20s, and all the warmth has been pushed off to the southeast. That's why we have gone from rain to snow and lots and lots more to come. These numbers are a little funky looking, but what it's telling you is we're 20 to 25 degrees colder now at the 5 o'clock hour than yesterday at the same time. That is the big switcheroo, and there's lots of snow out here. Now, this batch from Monroe down south of Adrian catching the southeast part of Lenawee County. A little bit of sleet still in there, maybe even some freezing rain. Most of that is snow, especially Detroit west and north through Metro Detroit. Temperatures are down in the mid-20s right now, and it's just going to keep snowing and snowing and snowing. Here's a live look at the radar. Uh, we've got both of them in our area lit up now, and again, a very heavy snow from Pontiac up toward Port Huron another real heavy batch out by Jackson. But again, there still could be some mixture here, some ice and snow together uh, down river south into Monroe County as well down in the southeast corner of Lenawee County. Look how much more there is to go now. The snow is all the way back through Chicago toward eastern Iowa, and that's going to work its way through here as we go along the next several hours here. The heaviest snow is going to be until around 11 o'clock, but many of the hours between now and then, it could be an inch per hour or so for the snowfall rates. So getting heavy already, and looks like the mixture goes away even in the southern counties then it's all snow all evening long five to eight widespread in the morning area three to six inches around and north of i-69 this is the advisory area for lapeer sandalac county less there you're just farther removed from the moisture source but a lot of spots again five to eight inches. I think the best chances to hit the higher half of that is southern Livingston, Oakland, and Macomb counties. Kind of right conditions for the moisture source and for the cold air there as we go along. But it's going to be heavy shoveling too. You got all that sleet packed in there with the first couple of hours and the heavy snow while temperatures were still in the low 30s and now it's going to get fluffier, but then it blows around too. So very, very tough trouble. We've been showing you the jackknife uh, truck out there on 696 under the Orchard Lake Road overpass. Very slippery roads all across the region. Snow on top of the ice. Tomorrow morning is tough too. You gotta expect extra time. Look at the temperature. All that extra moisture and puddles, those kinds of things are gonna get locked into ice. There will be improving roads as we go throughout the day on Friday. A little bit of sunshine always helps. So a mid-evening temperature is 25. The whole point of this graphic is heavy snow continues all evening long. 11 for the low. We finish with 5 to 8 widespread across southeast Michigan, except up toward the thumb. 5 below for windshield tomorrow morning to get started. It's a chilly day, too. Much colder with a little bit of sunshine here and there. Only 23. We go 22 on Saturday. If there are some snow showers, they'd be real early in the day. Much of the day is dry. Warmer Sunday and Monday, yes, but then we cool down Tuesday. Tuesday into Wednesday, there could be some problems on the roads as well as we keep the moisture around and drop those temperatures as we go. That is going to be a little busy the next several hours around here. Take it easy. All right, Dave.